Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to Let's Play Bloodborne on Sony PlayStation 4. Last time we finished up the second layer of the Alien Lore and Chalice. Today we're going to go Gemini ahead to the third layer. So go. let's get started here with our levels that I refarmed back up. Put it into Arcane here. And we actually are going to be getting a weapon in the DLC that has really good Farewell, Arcane skin. Good so that'll be eventually useful. Uh, for now though, I think I'm full up on bullets because I did farm the piggies a little bit just to make it easy for myself. And so yeah, my quicksilver or my blood vials are full. So let's go to layer two heart here and head on out. Uh, if I remember correctly, the boss of this area is kind of like um, he's kind of like the uh, the the beggar that we killed over in the Forbidden Woods. You know, the guy that turns into the giant freaking the uh, like kind of like the dark beast. Uh, Carl type thing, except, you know, more, com more compact form, I guess. Yeah, it's, I think the boss is one of those creatures, if I remember correctly. And while we don't necessarily need to go for the boss here, there are chalice materials in this particular layer that we are going to care about. So, yeah, you're definitely going to want to come down here for some items here. I went ahead and put some more gems into this thing, so hopefully it'll pimp itself out. And I forgot this one has that stupid uh, summon chick around here somewhere. Okay, that didn't really work out on you guys at all. Ah, just taking, this is taking a while to build up the beasthood meter. Ah, see, I want to like this weapon, I really do. It's just the base form is not that strong. Because I even put uh, several nice powerful gems that I had from other weapons. Eh. Yeah, see, physical attack up 13, attack up 9, and a physical attack up 15. So that should be pretty good. It's just the base scaling just isn't all that great, sadly. So, oh well. Luckily you have my very minimal blood echoes here. Oh, and there's the witch bitch right there. Goodbye. I don't know if there's another one, but if there is, that'll be... There's another one. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where are you? Probably up here. Yeah, that's a nice start, just having two witches. Or, uh... Summoning chicks. They're not witches, I don't think, but, you know, I just call them that because... Well, that's a nice ring to a witch bitch. I like it. Yeah, there's my quicksilver bullets that I care about. Awesome. All right, we'll worry about that door momentarily. We're going to worry about the rest of this room momentarily. Actually, I was going to say, nah, fuck it. Let's just go do it right now because uh, we're already here. We might as well see what's in here and then ignore it later. Despite the fact that we're going to have to come back here if we die and redeal with these people. Yeah, so let's see what's through here. Hey, it's a uh, open area. I vaguely remember this area. As a matter of fact, I think this area is kind of irritating, just because it's kind of long. Yeah, there's like several paths to look into here. All right, there's that guy right there who I'm not terribly fond of ever. Ritual Blood Five, nice. How many Ritual Blood 5s are we sitting at right now? 11. Cool. I think we need something like 20 total for our final dungeons. Bolt paper. That's good. This guy has problems with everybody. Yeah, this guy sucks. Oh, he's right guarding the lever. We have to go this way. You bastard of a game. If you really want to not deal with that guy, just run past him, hit the lever, and then just die. And then you don't have to ever deal with him again. By the way, the, uh... I think the, uh, loot that we need for... The, the chalice loot that we're gonna get, that is gonna be in the side paths. So we're probably just gonna do those on screen today. Where is she? There's the little bastard. The fucking A! 
Usually she's not that aggressive. You cunt. Sorry for my language, but these bitches just fucking suck. Oh, these things are the worst. Especially since they can spawn, like, so many. And if there's two of them, you saw how that worked out last episode when we got swarmed by, like, six spiders. Yeah, so, uh... I have no love lost on these witches. I didn't know you even had physical attacks. I mean, I've seen her do plenty of magical stuff, but I've never seen her do physical attacks. And fuck you, you spidery fuck off. They do look kind of cool with the with the red swirling around them, though. That is a neat little effect, but screw you. Well, after this episode, you guys are going to get a break from Chalice Dungeons, and we'll go to the DLC, where we'll get plenty of cool weapons that I ignore for the Holy Sword here. I mean, I'll, I mean, I'll, I mean, I'm not making an effort to use a lot of the weapons. It's just, yeah, it's just the holy sword is just one of the best weapons in the game. Oh, and yeah, you do that right there. So uh, I don't want to deal with all of you. You know what? Here, come for the witch. I am trying to go for the witch. You fucking idiot of a control scheme. I got fucking stuck on everything there. First that one guy that popped out of the woodworks, and then I got stuck on several spiders. And I like how they're just gathered around where my corpse would be. My corpse would be if uh, you know, I actually left a skeleton there. It'd be nice if there was one. It'd be nice if when there were two of these witches, they would each uh, like summon a different creature. That way you would know. Uh, if you kill one, um, I don't know, just, it would just make it nice to, to not have to deal with all those fucking spiders. God damn, that jumping attack really got me. Fuck you, spiders. Fuck you. I don't think they even have a face, do they? At least not these ones. Or if they do, it's hidden underneath all the pulsating red. Actually, do more damage than the jump attack. I think the thrust attack just does more damage than the, than the jump attack there. It's kind of odd, but whatever. I'm out of stamina. Fucking okay. ah! I ran out of stamina. How am I dying to these bitches? There's no need for this many spiders. This many spiders is never necessary. There, goodbye. Right, this little spider fuck's gonna come bother me. Fuck off! Fuck off with your goddamn bullshit! She never even stopped ringing the bell. She just kept ringing it, and it did not work out well for me. Damn. I mean, we did fine the first time, and that was with me trying to use the weapons that weren't all that terribly great against it. Go goodbye. Let's wait for the spider to come out and for the and for the for the chick to walk past, and then we'll go worry about all that stuff. There you go. There you go. Got him. You do have to deal with the other witch now, but that's not too bad. Man, they just come YOLOing out of the fucking stairs. 
like record speeds. There you go. I got him, but not before they had a chance to grab me. Apparently she had an 18th of a percent of a health left there, and that did not work out well. Alright, there we go. You guys are all dead. Fuck off. Give me the bullets. I'm gonna get revenge on this asshole, because he fucked me over earlier. Actually, I don't know if he, I don't know if he pops out on his own. Since we had to break him out there. He might only pop out when we attack him. Yeah, I remember this room because that's the boss door right there, and, or near the boss door, and you have to run past some of these spiders, and I think there's some guy that wakes up over here. No, I thought there was somebody that wakes up over here, but I, I, I remember this room being a pain in the ass to run to the boss if I died. Either that or it's a room that looks almost exactly like this one, which is possibility, and I think we started out going this way, but you know what? Uh, is this is where we... Yeah, this is where we die. Because here is the lever. Seal up. This guy sucks. Thank you. Oh, you're almost dead. You're almost dead. Goodbye. Ooh, we got good on the parry there, and that worked out real nice for us. If we don't get good on the parry... Oh, that guy hurts ridiculously for no real good reason. Just like the uh, the dogs that the uh, keeper of the old lord has for patrols. For patrol dogs. Those things suck. But there we go. Now we can just go straight to the boss if we wanted to, but like I said, there are chalice materials here for us to go hunt down. So... If you're doing chalicey stuff, which if you're here, you are, then yeah, you might as well go take your time and hunt it down. And I don't know if you died, but I don't think you did. There we go, you're dead. Uh, let's see what we got here. Punch of blood cocktail. I don't think this is the way we came in, is it? Uh, no, this is actually slightly different. And yeah, that's still not an illusionary wall, despite the fact that it really looks like it should be. And I think you can fall down here, jump down there if you want to, but uh, actually that might be the best way to do it, because other, you're going to have to fall down at some point, if I remember correctly. Unless you can just go through this door right here. No, this is just where we were. Okay. Yeah, so you pretty much have to fall down somewhere. So might as well just make it this door right here, since I don't think there's any enemies in this little back area. Yeah, this is about as safe as you're going to get. Oh, there's our summon for the boss if we need him. Beast Claw Yusuf. You know what? He's going to make it onto the roster for the boss, at least for the first attempt or so, just for shits and giggles. Two mold, that's nice, but it's not what I actually need. Yeah, it looks like the thrust attack actually does do more damage than the jump attack here. So that does 580 with the jump, and then the thrust does 609, so huh, that's surprising. I would have always, I always figured the jump attacks were the stronger variety. And here's the oh, here's the boss door. That's awesome. That means there's another side path up ahead, because we haven't got all the other chalice stuff that we need. Sir. Perfect. Say so just here. Uh, this was blood vial. Yeah, we're maxed out on those. Surprisingly, I'll save one for later if we need them after we kill everything in here. Actually, this might not be the one that has a whole bunch of extra rooms, but there is one that has a ton of extra everything that I remember, and it just took me forever to go through. I think, this one, I think this one only might have a couple extra. And you, we, we dropped you earlier, but apparently it didn't work out for us. There you go. 
to bring damn bludgeon. pick up those vials since they're there. Nice. That worked out pretty good. And let's go see what's down here. Bullets. Apparently there's nothing here, and I don't know what these notes are talking about, so oh well. Actually, I'll probably gonna wait to summon the little summon dude, uh, because we have to go to the side. Actually, no, no, fuck it. He'll come with us. He'll join us on our on our little trek here. And we'll go ahead and pop our healing item here. Yeah, we could always use we could always use someone to help out with the enemies in the area, especially if he's rocking beast claws. Heck, if I'm not going to use them as much because they're not as good as I was hoping they'd be, well, at least this guy can do it for us. How you doing, Joseph? And I was thinking he might already have him in duel. Dual mode, but no, he seems to be one handed for the moment. Hey, the door's on the left this time. I'm actually curious if there's another summit or not, because sometimes there's a secondary summit if we look around. Usually they're like in that room right there. Usually they're not going to be in this room over here that's this close to the boss. Yeah, so it's not there. Okay, uh, we'll worry about the boss momentarily. Let's go check out the side stuff real fast, because, again, stuff there that we want. Okay, that's nice. Thanks, game. Thank you. There we go, got some more blood vials that we can't carry. Uh, I wonder what kind of assholes we're going to have over here. Okay, I was about to say, he can't climb the ladder. Sir. Right. Uh, hopefully there's not any witches in here. That'd be nice. Bye. Uh, apparently he exploded with poison when he died because I'm getting poisoned here. Not sure where that came from, but okay. And then again, so did the little scorpion bastards. Ooh, it's one of these areas. Cool. I like these areas. We'll probably end up on that layer after we clear what's ever in this room over here. Uh, Yosef, feel free not to die, and if you do, that means I have to resummon you, and I'd rather not, so... I just realized that we don't kill him. If we don't kill the boss on the first attempt, I'll have to homeward bone out pretty much to re-get everything. Uh, he's going to fall down, isn't he? He's either going to fall down or not make it. Yeah, I don't think he's going to make it past that gap. He's not smart enough. Cursed Fire Dant Blood Gem 5. That seems like it could be nice. Fire attack up 819.8. Yeah, this one doesn't add useless uh, bolt attack. It does put your just attack down, which is not great. That's one of the curses I don't care for. 
Let's see, I'm not seeing a boulder up here this time. Uh, it's over here. I wish they wouldn't put so much fog in these areas. It's just irritating. Let's see. Oh, there's a witch. I don't know where the witch is, and that sucks. Also, I have a ton of blood echoes that I'd rather not lose. Oh, there's the witch. There we go. Okay, good. Hopefully it's only to the one witch. That'd be nice. Bullets. Thanks. And... Knowledge. They don't actually give us that much Mad Men's knowledge here in the, uh, the dungeons, surprisingly. They give us uh, insight for the bosses, but that's mostly it. That's some low-level cold blood for all the experience the enemies themselves are giving. Alright, what is down here? Is this just one room with the... with the witch? Because that was the door we came in right there. Wow, that was a completely and utterly pointless room. Okay. Sure, why not? That room did absolutely nothing for anybody, ever. I mean, you had a chance to die from the witch possibly summoning too much stuff, and really, that was the only thing there. Hey, this guy. I want to say there's a trap around here somewhere where you step on one of these and a bunch of people will spawn in, but I'm not sure. This seems like it could be a shortcut. Uh, if it is, I'm not sure where it's shortcutting to. That's the problem. Uh, stay nice and healed up here. And charge with destiny. Ah, uh, dang I didn't give a chance to get my, my second R2 off there. That bastard. He found his way over. Nice. Uh, he surprisingly managed to path his way over to us. That was actually very helpful for, you know, the six seconds that you were there. Bastard of Warren. Two of those. Cool. Uh, we're going to need those for other challenges later. So that's, that's the main reason why you want to come down to the side path there is for that. Actually, I don't know if we've had those before. You're a good man attacking these guys, even if you're not doing a very good job of it. Tempering damn blood gem. No, we haven't had these. Remains of Loren infant infected by the scourge. A harbinger, a harbinger of curses and symbol of defilement. Yeah, so it's just a little skeleton baby. And I'm not talking about the ones from uh, Dark Souls 1. Oh, cool. I think this is just the uh, downward path that we were going to end up on eventually. But, what do you say? There's nothing down here, game. Yeah, because there's the path we would have jumped down to. But let's make sure there's nothing else in that other room that we were at. Because there's always a possibility something was there. Let's see, there's nothing going to be in here. Oh, you dropped the uh, blood vials, right? Yeah. Or a blood vial, I guess. Uh, is there another door? I thought there was another door in here. No, I guess not. Okay, cool. And I'm never going to worry about reloading for uh, the, the beasts, the little scurrying beasts in here, simply for the fact that they're only dropping gems, and while it's nice, it's not necessary to reload for, I don't think. Yeah, they make it look like you can get over there, but you can't. And that makes me slightly upset, because there would probably be cool stuff over there. And I see you up there, dude. More 
blood vials. That's awesome. Uh, nothing over here, I don't think. Nope. Okay, we're good. Uh, let's see, this is... I'm not sure where this is, actually. Ah, that's treasure. That's what that is. Alright, if he wants to go attack him, that'd be great. I'm going to go ahead and look around for more treasury stuff. Because there should be, I think, two more bastards of war around here somewhere. and That'd be nice for us. Alright, he's going to come after us. Blooming cold blood flower. That's nice. You're going to start firing at me, but I'm going to go ahead and start firing at these. I don't want to have any surprises here. There you go. I like the part where these guys don't explode into the little maggots. Dang it, I was trying to uh, switch my action there. Yeah, drag that guy away. There we go. Open the coffin. There's our other bastards of Warren. Cool. I'm not seeing any other treasures over here. Or over here. I don't trust either of you. Blooming cold blood flower. Awesome. Uh, I think we have those, but I'm not sure. No, these are new. Pale vegetation that commonly grows on cold blood in a place long abandoned that has bloomed into a bright, bright red, stingy, and flower. And these are the bulbs. Pale vegetation that commonly grows on cold... Okay, so these are the same thing, except for said to mature slowly in close proximity to death and eventually bloom. I thought we had cold blood something or other previously, but eh, maybe it was something else that we used. Alright, now we gotta go back up to where we were, and good luck with that. Wait, that's just uh, blood vials. Uh, let's see. I don't know if this guy's gonna make it to the boss, simply for the fact that uh, he's not gonna go past that hole in the ground. And I don't know if he's gonna be able to make it past that in order to get to the boss. Which means I might have wasted an insight on him. Because I don't see any other way to get back up so far. He's not doing a whole lot of damage, but he is distracting enemies rather nicely, so that's helpful. Well, that was nice. Uh, crap. Uh, I think we... Do we go this way? No, this is, that's, the way we, that's the way we came from. Now he's happy to jump down the hole to go the wrong way, but yeah, I don't think he's going to make it. We'll try, and if he doesn't make it, well, I'll go spend my blood echoes and then try the boss solo. I'm trying to go slow so we can keep up and not get lost, but at the same time, I'm not terribly worried about it since he's probably not going to... Hey, he made it. Cool. That's awesome. He did not make it. He gave up. Yeah, I don't think he's going to make it to the boss. Uh, let's get to the boss chamber, and if he teleports over there, great. And if he doesn't, well, we tried. way for the boss, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Yeah, if he just, if he, if he just like, pops up out of somewhere, that'd be nice, but I'm not going to count on it. Yeah, I don't think he's going to come over. So he was useful for, you know, getting around the little side area there, but I shouldn't have taken him over there, because He's not going to survive the trip back. All 
Alright, let's go spend our echoes and then go fight the boss then. Uh, I was looking it up, and uh, the boss is actually weak to slow poison if you want to try to get that strategy. But I don't think we have that many gems that do slow poison, so. At least, not, at least I don't seem to have too many. And because he's with us, we have to use our. Where is it? Uh, silencing Blink. There you go. Now I can use the lamper, lantern and get back to other stuff. Making myself not really stronger off the bat, but stronger in general. Very well, let me. Yeah, there we go. Three more points of Arcane, and we're done leveling that. Despite the fact that Arcane does actually get good gains at, uh, all the way up to 99, it's one of the few stats that does. Yeah, these aren't going to get us no 35,000 Blood Echoes, so let's just go ahead and spend those on other stuff here. Like... Bullets. There we go. We're maxed out on bullets. There we go. We still have 19,000. Uh, actually, yeah, let's go ahead and buy some uh, Poison Knives. Why not? I don't know if it'll actually be terribly useful, but I'll give it a shot. Let's see, we need sixteen or fourteen hundred for another one. Let's see, can we sell anything? Uh, yeah, let's get rid of one of the ritual blood twos and regular bloodstone shard. Yeah, I don't know if we're actually gonna be able, gonna be able to poison the guy, but I'll give it a shot. It's saying that he has like a really low, a really low uh, slow poison resist, so I'll give it a, I'll give it the old college try. That's for sure. Alright, let's go ahead and just uh, run past anything here and hope for the best. Hopefully they don't follow us, that'd be nice. Yeah, he's following us a little bit. There we go. And there we go. Cool. Alright, let's go for... Oh, there's another summon here. Maybe this guy... Maybe this guy is... Uh... Not summonable if you have the other guy. I don't know who this Vitus guy is, so... Yeah, might as well. Fuck it. Let's go. Vitus, Vitus, Vitus. I have no idea who he is. I didn't see him there earlier. Maybe I just missed him. I think I might have looked over in this corner, because that's where I'm used to seeing stuff, I think. Oh, and he's got... Uh... Oh, he's got the... Uh... He's got the first weapon that we're going to get in the DLC. That's the Beast Cutter. It's basically a strength version of the Threaded Cane. It's a, it's like a club in its base form, and then it transforms into like a big ass like a whip, kind of like um, it kind of looks like poison or not poison ivy, uh, ivy's blade from a uh, Soul Calibur. Not not a whole lot, but it's like the same general thing. It's got like those big old blades for its whip. It's slow, but it is pretty cool. And yeah, this guy right here, we've, we've seen him before. Is he going to get poisoned or no? I don't know if he's actually going to get poison. It said he has like a poison resist of 70, which is super low, but apparently attacking him outright instead of trying to poison him to death is going to be a better strategy. Because uh, Venus is actually doing some pretty good damage there, damn. Yeah, I think, I think we'll resummon him. He's doing good enough.
I'm ignoring you. You're not worth my time. Okay, good. He didn't follow me all the way. He gave up eventually. Good. He has better things to do with his day than bother me. Fantastic. Alright, buddy. Let's go. Uh, poison knives. We're going to ignore you in favor of the other item that I care about. The choir bell here. There we go. Yeah, let's put on the tiny nitrous too. It might do some damage to him. Probably not a whole lot, but it'll probably do something. Grab up some echoes there. There we go. Yeah, because I'm curious how much this will do with the acceptable arcane stat that we're hitting up right now. It's not bad. It's not bad, but it's not great. He is a bit more lightning-y than I was thinking he would be, so... Yeah, maybe a... Maybe a lightning weapon isn't the best choice for him. Ow, that hurt. I don't know if we can actually, uh... I didn't heal him. I was supposed to heal him. Damn it. Okay, so that wasted a whole bunch of uh, bullets and other stuff. Damn. He was right out of the range of the heal when I used it earlier. And that didn't work out too good. I was gonna say, I don't think we can actually visceral attack this guy since if I tried, it didn't seem to work out for me. This is basically a stronger version of the Afflicted Baker, or whatever that guy's name was that we had earlier. Ow. Fuck me. Yeah, that backhand swipe is not my favorite thing since it fudged me over there. But yeah, he does that, uh... I don't, I don't know if the, the Baker had that, where... He has that uh, punch of the ground, and it does, like, wind damage, or whatever it was. That was pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, he has, like, storm attacks or something like that, which is pretty cool. I'm going to try a uh, one-hand move here. It's going to do less damage, obviously, but... Get more attacks off before I have to retreat. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna work. Uh, I think we actually need the summon for distraction. And this time, is I need to not worry about other stuff and just attack them. And also, keep an eye on Fittis' health, since he did pretty good for the most part. He just got cornered and took the full brunt of all the damage there. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get rid of you and you for the moment. I don't know if anything else would be useful here. I we can try Molotov cocktails. But I'm not sure if they'd actually make a difference at all. Maybe that's what I was looking at. Maybe I was looking at his uh, fire resist instead of his uh, lightning resist. Or he could just do that bullshit. Fucking I hate when that happens. They do some random ass bullshit when you're in the middle of trying to use an item. And because you're existing, they kill you in one shot. Alright. I hate that shit. I really truly do. I mean, I get that they gotta do something about, uh... 
you getting hit while you're in the middle of doing something, but frankly, I think just interrupting the attack would be fine. It doesn't, it doesn't have to do double damage for no real good reason. That's just my personal opinion. Like, interrupt you, sure, do regular damage, but don't do double damage. Now we're going to try this again. Did not get reamed this time, hopefully. Yeah, I got hit by whatever that bullshit is. Okay, Vitus, I want you to do some stuff here. And of course, he dodged right out of the way perfectly. Uh, I don't think that hit him. Yeah, it's not doing that much. Yeah, see, uh, his uh, weapon right there is club, and then it's also a whip, too, so it's pretty cool for the most part. I like it. Uh, it's not my favorite DLC weapon, but it's, it's a pretty good one. And it has plenty of range, too. Like, uh, if you thought the uh, Reddit Cane has a lot of range, that thing also has a fair chunk of range to it that you don't really think about. Yeah, I guess this guy's not going to be backstabbable, which makes sense. Okay, this guy does not have any heals. He's doing a fair chunk of damage, but he does not have any way to heal himself. So, if I summon him again, and I probably will, I need to keep on top of his ability to stay alive there, because he's not thinking about it, that's for sure. I didn't want to do the transformation attack game. I just wanted to get out of my weapon. Yeah, these wind attacks are not... They're cool, but they're dangerous. Like, real dangerous. Come on. Fuck off with the bullshit. And you don't really have to beat this guy if you don't want to worry about the uh, lower roaring or lower lower roaring chalice because it doesn't really have a whole lot in there. And yeah, it's going to have some chalice materials, but not really that much that you're not going to get in other places. So if you just want to say fuck it and ignore this guy, go for it. As far as I'm aware. look at it real fast. I think I might have some stuff that you would care about, but not... Let's see. It has some red jelly. Uh, maybe, maybe we do have to go for this for the red jelly. I really hope we don't have to, because that adds another chalice that I'd rather not have to worry about, but I thought we could buy that stuff. Let's see. Oh, fuck off. I'm not sure where you came from. You need to screw off. <coughs> Dang, I was, trying to look, I was trying to look at something, game. Go away. Is he following me? I can't... T yes, he is. He's a little fuck. Fuck off. Alright, red jelly. Might not have to. I'm looking. Um, I 
Where is it? Where does it drop from? Where's this thing? You know, it looks like we might actually have to go through God damn it. That's some bullshit. Yeah, I think we actually have to go through the, the dungeon that dropped by this. I thought we didn't, but apparently we do. I'll try to look into it between episodes <coughs> and see if we're there, but it's looking like we might actually have to go through the dungeon this guy bought, drops. Fuck it. God damn it. I'll make sure to mention that before we go to that dungeon, just so people aren't lost when they heard me say, hey, you don't have to do this boss, because uh, frankly, I'm not trying to mislead. You just... Well, oh well. That's it. Let's deal with this asshole. Vitus here. He wants your attention, not me. I am only here because I have to be here. He is here because he wants to be here. If he didn't want to be here, he went out and put a summon sign down. Let me stop running away. Okay, uh, yeah, apparently he's healing a little bit, just not a whole lot. Uh, I'm trying to heal, game. That fucking bullshit ass attack where he, like, uppercuts me. I don't know where the fuck that comes from, but it pisses me off. Hey. I'm gonna try him without the summon real fast just to see how much uh, health he actually has without the summon being there. But I think the summon is basically necessary. For me, at least. found a ally hunter with our NPC hunter. I think we might actually be able to kill this little, little rat bastard before we go to the DLC. Granted, he's still going to be a real pain in the ass, but we'll see. Uh, I'll probably try to be on healing duty. Uh, as far as I can tell, poison knives don't do shit for this fight. But, oh well. Alright, uh, all three of us are here. Hopefully I don't get murked as soon as I walk through the door. I hate when he does that. Oh, that guy's got the DLC weapon that I want to use. Uh, that's like a better version of the current sword that we have. You have to beat the, uh, I think the second boss in the DLC to actually use it. But yeah, it's real nice. Arthritis. Oh, that, that's a that's a call beyond right there that, that guy's using. So that's real nice. See, this guy must be a either arcane build or an arcane strength build. And really, the uh, sword that he's using scales well with arcane and strength. A little bit with the skill, not quite as much. I don't know if that actually healed a uh, idiot over here. I think it did. Yes. Alright, so the secret to winning this fight is bring allies. Oh, and that up, and that, that, that right there that he's using, that's also a DLC thing. Vitus got the heal. I don't know if that heal was for me or from him. Uh, he might be using the blood vial, but the point is. Got him. Doing real good here. Yeah, 
yes, 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 yes. Yay! Thank you, sir. Much, much appreciated. Ooh, there we go. We got some uh, chunks. Ooh, we got vermin. Uh, that's for the one of the covenants, I think. Uh, lower orange chalice, bolt damp blood gem. Let's see, how is that bolt damp blood gem? Bolt attack up 8.4 and extra rally potential, so that's not too shabby. Well, there we go. I finally managed to beat this guy. Thank you for my summon help there, buddy. Let's go grab our last couple levels and then get out of the alien Lauren chalice. So, yeah, and after this, we're heading to the DLC. Yeah, I was going to say fuck it in the episode, and I did. I went to bed and all that other good stuff. And then I decided to just to try a couple times off screen to try to kill this bastard. I failed. I, re I got down to a grand total of one bad man's knowledge there. So that worked out pretty good for me. Gammon and then I discovered an easy way to just farm insight. Not Very bad man's well. knowledge, but insight. So let's go ahead and... Ooh, we got enough for two levels. Nice. Nice. I might, I might go ahead and get the last uh, 60,000 I need for that um, for that final arcane level before I go to the DLC, more than likely. Let's see, let's just go ahead and buy some of you, buy some of you, and buy some of you, and some of you. There we go. But yeah, uh, the way to get insight, not Madman's knowledge, but just regular insight, is just to create um, Thumaru chalice rituals. Uh, and you don't even have to use the materials, the ritual bloods and the materials, or the blood echoes. All you gotta do is chalice dungeon search, chalice type, standard, Thumaru, depth one. Uh, we don't have any additional rights for this one, so just begin search. Uh, assuming you're online, of course. If not, then you have to do the then you have to do the, um, you have to do the, you would have to do the, uh, blood echo cost and the material cost. And you just go through the Thumerian Labyrinth, the first one, which is, you know, super easy. And you should be able to kill everything real fast. And you get two insight per boss. So, yeah. And then when you're done, just remove the chalice and do it again. It might not take more than 20 or 30 minutes to go through the entire area. Maybe less if you know exactly where to go. So, yeah, that's how you get more insight. Cool. Anyways, like I said, I'll probably just go ahead and farm up some blood echoes before the next episode to get that last level of arcane, and then we'll go from there. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time where we actually do DLC stuff. Have a good night.